In this video, we're going to take a look at multiplying radicals of mixed index, where there's also a binomial inside the radical. Here, we're multiplying the square root of 3x times y plus z by the cube root of 9x, y plus z squared. When there is a binomial as a factor, we're going to treat that as one piece that will always stay together as a y plus z, treating it almost like it's some weird, strange third letter that we're working with. In other words, all the other patterns are going to remain the same. Square root, we know, has an index of 2, and cube root has an index of 3, and we need a common index to multiply these together. The common index of 2 and 3 is 6. We're going to put everything under a 6th root. To raise the exponent from 2 to 6, we multiply by 3, and to raise the index from 3 to 6, we multiply by 2. As we do, we'll also multiply all the exponents underneath the radical. Before we do that, though, it might be useful to rewrite the 9 in its factored form. 9 is 3 times 3, or 3 squared. So why don't we put 3 squared instead of the 9? That way, we can use exponent properties on all of the 3's. On the first radical, then, 3 to the 1 times 3 is 3rd power. x to the 1 times 3 is 3. And then the y plus z, we treat as a group. It's currently to the first power. Multiplied by 3 gives us to the third power. On the second radical, we're multiplying the exponents all by 2. So we have 3 to the 2 times 2, or fourth power. x to the 1 times 2, or second power. And y plus z to the 2 times 2, or fourth power. And now that everything is under the same 6th root, we can combine pieces together by adding the exponents. How many total 3's do we have? 3 plus 4 is 7. How many total x's do we have? 3 plus 2 is 5. And how many y plus z factors do we have? 3 plus 4 is 7. We're not quite done, though, because we'll notice that some of these exponents are larger than the index. This means we can divide out some of these factors by dividing the exponent by the index to see what comes out of the 6th root and what remains inside of the 6th root. 7 divided by 6 is 1 remainder 1. 1, 3 comes out, and 1, 3 remains inside. On the x's, 5 divided by 6 is 0, remainder 5. All 5's remain inside the radical. For the y plus z, treating it as one group again, we divide 7 by 6 to get 1, remainder 1. This means 1 y plus z comes out, and 1 y plus z remains inside the radical. This becomes our final simplified solution, 3 y plus z times the 6th root of 3x to the 5th y plus z. We were able to combine these mixed index by finding a common index and treating the binomial as one factor, like one variable.